Hey guys, and welcome to the In the Mic of Madness Patreon request. So, Becca, why don't you tell people how they can request on Patreon? Well, you can go to... In case they want to. Well, yes, if you want to, and you want to make us watch a movie, whether it's good or not, you can go to patreon.com slash Mike of Madness. It's M-I-C, not M-I-K-E. K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. Don't confuse the people. Don't confuse them. It's M-I-C of Madness. <laughs> and you can sign up for our various tiers. This is from somebody who would rather remain nameless. We are just going to call him Jack Shoulder tonight. He <laughs> requested the movie Martyrs. By the way, we never do this. Hey, I'm Becca. Who are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I try to do it. I try no, to do you it. Don't. I try to get... No, I do. <laughs> Listen back to some of the episodes. I'm like, my co-host Brad, hey, my co-host Rebecca. I do it all the fucking time. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, well, who are you? Hey, another benefit anyway. of Patreon is like maybe you are mad at me because I hated Suspiria. Or maybe you need to get revenge on Jason because he didn't see the brilliance of Sheborg. You can make <laughs> us watch garbage. Hot fucking garbage. Yes. Or you can think, see my Barbie uh, friendship behind me. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I don't clean United up my jizz rags before the presentation, so you never know what's going on. You can see, like, the corner of one of my shelves. That's about it. Jason's and turned around. Fucking, the roof. You can see yeah. my laundry. You can see my fucking figures I think haphazardly I see, everywhere. Are those, like, Christmas bows on your fireplace sledge? Absolutely not. Uh, no. Christmas bows? Yeah, I think so. I don't see Christmas bows. You're looking bows. at NES Freddy and Atari Leatherface. That's oh, why you're seeing well, okay, red there and we green. Go. Wait! You have uh, NES Freddy too? I don't see anything. NECA, please? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> yeah, bitch. That's uh. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't, so we haven't talked am, for a while. Am I allowed to introduce myself you. or no? What? <laughs> so I am Jason from Sinister Cinema Reviews. I think Brad introduced himself. I don't fucking know. They know our fucking names. They know our names. Necess- What's my name? Not necessarily. Right. Whatever. Well, Beck is going to tell you about so this now, fucking movie. <laughs> Martyrs. Is this a movie that Becca has seen before? Yes. 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 Brad, you yeah. had not seen it, correct? I had not, but I built up in my head like what it was about, and I was so fucking wrong. Yeah. Okay. I'd be very curious once she says what it's about, what you thought it was about. Was it like a phantasm moment where you thought that was a complete? <laughs> it was a Hellraiser movie? phantasm. Which one? That was phantasm. phantasm. Okay. I just decided to tell my cousin that uh, I saw it and I gave him the plot, you know, scene by scene. It was just whatever the fuck cool I could think of, like moment to moment. I wish I could get a recording of that conversation to hear what uh, it was. Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs> Lots of stupid shit like zombies and whatever. <laughs> actually, no. What I want to hear is, Brad, before Rebecca tells us what it's actually about, I want to know what you thought it was about. <laughs> okay, so I swear, like, I, whenever I saw it, I thought I remembered, like, two distressed young people a boy and a fucking girl and wearing like fucking like kind of nice clothes but like maybe covered in blood like i thought it was a movie about like two people who just get fucked over and tortured for like an hour and a half like in like you know kind of a i picture them like in a a, kind of a clean environment like a white room or maybe somewhere sterilized to be tortured i don't know i've only ever seen thumbs and just heard random breaths about how horrific it is and how it makes you feel like shit and all this stuff, and it's always been legend, and I wanted to watch it, and I'm I'm happy that Jack Shoulder gave me an excuse to watch it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jack. So I'm going to say that when I went into it the first time, this is the second time I've seen it. First time I watched it, and I, again, spoilers, everybody. This is really, yes. it really is like two films. It really is. Yes. So the synopsis that I'm going to read was the movie I was going into, and I watched, and then when it turned, <laughs> I was like. Huh? The first time. Second time around, I was like, fuck yeah. So, this is a French film, by the way. For those of you who can't read English subtitles or don't speak French, <laughs> maybe a little prohibitive, but 15 years after her horrif- horrifying experience of abduction and prolonged torture, Lucy embarks on a bloody quest for revenge against her oppressors, along with her childhood 
her childhood friend Anna, who also suffered abuse, she quickly descends without hope into madness and into her own delusions. Anna, left on her own, begins to re-experience what Lucy did when she was only 12 years old. I want to know more about her, uh, what was the lifelong bleh? Yeah. Her bleh. Yeah. There was a little bleh. bit of that. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Yeah. So, that's the movie My I... My screen just went dark. That was weird. What? My screen just went dark for some reason. It's like, I was... I don't know. I, it doesn't matter. I Lucy does not want you to make fun that. of me. I guess not. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is probably, I did not watch this again for our, our watch through here or talk about it, but I have seen this movie probably, oh, five or six times now. So I have a feeling I probably remember it as good or better than either of you who have just watched it. I know the movie pretty damn well, so I didn't. I just didn't have the time. If you're following my channel or if you are part of any of the Facebook groups I'm a part of, you know that all my attention has been given to the MCU and Ash vs. Evil Dead, along with like Twilight Zone and other shit. So I literally have not found a second of time to watch this i had to get everything done before endgame day after tomorrow i have two films left so it was a push and a half let me tell you i was watching two a day um well but i, I, watched I it. <laughs> pretty sure i remember every fucking yeah. little bit of it well i know obviously you guys i would hope brad watched it since he's never seen the fuck okay thing. <laughs> brad stone and doesn't take notes i was i went into this i took notes okay good off the top of my head okay i, 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 I remember I was the movie like, pretty goddamn well okay but i was like i know i'm gonna love this movie it was like an eight when i saw it the first time like i said it kind of threw me when it kind of turned gears so this time I'm mm. like I'm going to pay attention all the way. So I yeah, really good notes. But I uh, I saw this right when it came out. This is 2008, right? If I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, 2008, 2009, depending on you know whatever. Right, it's like three years after Hostel. Um, yeah, I mean I saw this right when it came out, and I just I thought it was a masterpiece. I thought it was just unbelievably amazing in every way and see and you I mentioned just, hostile. I had to watch it like three times and this is where i'm going to like try to refer to you a lot because i didn't look up a whole lot of like the background stuff i did see that um you know the director had said he was kind of trying to do a hostile type thing and i didn't know that when i was yeah. watching it the first time or the second time it was after the fact and i didn't even really like research it after <laughs> But I know there's so many things, there's so many like symbols and things in it that have to be like, that have to mean something. So I'll be referring yeah. to you for that because I didn't get to do any research you, on it. You could analyze this movie all day if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we'll try to keep it uh, brief as we can. No, we won't. I, <laughs> no, I know, but I don't want to go into a fucking one thing for an hour like I could. I mean, we'll we'll keep it you know a little reserved but at the same time i definitely obviously want to get into things um now the first thing i want to say about this movie and i hope that you guys are with me um and i think you're both with me for the most part on this anyway on anything but i despise the title torture porn in yes. any context yes. because it's always used as a negative and it makes and, you sound subversive unless Leela is saying it Oh. Yeah, Leela actually uses it in a positive connotation, which is very rare. I don't like it because there is torture porn. Like when I go to jack off, like I there have to is, like yes. sift, I have to sip through like titty torture and all kinds of fucking bondage shit. So it's not a good description for a fucking. You're film. like I want actual torture porn, not fucking. Well, I don't. Salt. I don't. I'm okay? a gentle lover and I'm a gentle masturbator, but like, you know. I I just I'd rather not like if I'm talking about torture porn like know that I'm talking about a bitch with her elongated titties being fucking slapped around or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't talk about actual torture porn almost ever. So, um, I yeah, I just I think it's such a fucking cop out. It, when, it's so silly to say. When I interviewed Steve Rosinski, he was saying that he made a movie because he was like, I don't like torture films and so i wanted to make one just to you know see what it's like and i was like thank you for not saying torture porn and he was just like i hate that 
Like, it just makes you sound yeah. subversive. Like, I don't care if you like it or don't like it. If you're a horror fan, don't make it into something that's, like, dirty and nasty that you like it. It's just a cop-out phrase. Mm-hmm. It's it's yet another fucking cop-out phrase. It's like people who use the who use the fucking term SJW to try to fucking justify why they didn't like something. Oh, it's just a fucking social justice warrior agenda. Okay, can you elaborate on that and actually speak to me about what you didn't like about the movie? Or are you just going to use a blanket statement like that, copping out of what your actual fucking... You, like, you can't actually articulate what your thoughts are and why you don't like the movie. You're just going to use just this, this coined phrase that really doesn't fucking Fuck speak that, to anything. That shit, oh, that shit only fucking is viable for like people online trying to fuck with other people online. Like there is no SJW agenda in the movies. They're just making movies that people motherfucking will pay to see. Right. right. If, and if you don't That's... like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you like it. And it's like, if you don't like Correct. the agenda that they have, then fucking just don't watch it or whatever. But yeah. So, um, this one though, I, I didn't think of it. I mean, like that's not how I went into it. I had no idea that that was even a thing. See, torture porn to me, the like what they mean by torture porn is a film with literally zero, zero. substance at all. And all it is is there to show gore, showcase gore and tits. And that's it. And not even and that. Like, like, I think of like that a is snuff not film. this movie like in the Somebody slightest. who just wants to watch someone else hurt for their own pleasure. And I think that's probably where it started, you know, with, you know, shit like that. But it's like, okay, that does not apply to Hostel or Saw or this movie or anything else. There's a lot of story in all of those movies. Fuck no, it doesn't apply to Saw. That is ridiculous. That's like, what's funny about that is Saw is kind of the origin of torture porn. Hostel and Saw. They came yeah, out around say, about the Hostel same time. Hostel is the one that I think most people... No, remember. Saw's before Hostel. But I think... But Saw... The first Saw had like a really strong story. I don't think most people thought of it that they way. They all do. Well, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> Stop it was... the presses, dude. Stop the presses. We need a crossover movie called Sawstool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm down. Brad. I'll watch it. Copyright. <laughs> Brad. See, to me, like, <laughs> or however you what say I would backwards. think, <laughs> torture porn for me, like, if I was to actually use that term, which I never would, but what they mean by or what I hear from it is something like the August Underground movies or the guinea pig, the guinea pig film. But even those. Something that literally is just fucking blatant torture with nothing else in the movie at all. It doesn't make you think. It doesn't have a story. It doesn't have a character. It's just people being tortured the end but see even even that if it's fake i just don't feel like i feel like there's still something there i feel like it's like torture porn is like if somebody is just getting beaten and fucking chopped up and shit and people are just watching it like for real for yeah. their own pleasure and there's oh, nothing like, you don't know anybody's name you don't, there's no story i mean you can say that any of those movies don't have a story but they that's have august a underground story. have you seen one of those no but they have i mean they have some it's, they it's really a, don't have a story <laughs> i've watched them it really is just them torturing people and the movie ends it's the sickest it's like as sick as their minds can make things. Like okay, fucking, but it's still not fucking real. Fucking a baby in a bathtub or you yeah, know, something insane. Yeah, but it's still not real. And like, to me, okay. that, that Even has Even that has value because well, it's it's either a, an effects fucking showcase exactly. or, you know. Exactly. That's, I guess that's my point. If it's fake, it's like it still has some sort of creativity or something there. Um and it's not I'm not saying I'm all I'm saying is that if I was going to label something torture porn, if I had okay. to, that okay. would be what it was, because those movies really have no story at all. Something like Martyrs, something like Saw, something like Hostel, yeah. they very they much have, have a story. story. Yeah. They have stories so have content. That's just such a cop out. And I feel like Martyrs is so deep that to say that this is torture porn and just slough it off like that is is insulting. Oh, well, it yeah. really is because it's yeah. such a fucking brilliant movie at its core that I feel like looking at only the torture and the gore and all that stuff and being like, well, the movie's trash. It's like it, I understand you don't like the gore, but that doesn't that doesn't take the merit away from the yeah. movie. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. 
So yeah. we can make you an edited version where all the all the good stuff's cut out, and, and then maybe you can see it. Flowers and roses. Maybe That'd be and... awesome. That movie would just be a family having breakfast, <laughs> and the dad excuses himself. <laughs> and then they hear the doorbell. Uh-huh. Then... Which is credits. S- <laughs> which is so... yeah. Doorbell credits. <laughs> yes. Which is so. Or you could like inner slice in like a girl selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> would you and then it just cuts to black. and this movie this is something that i like about this movie it kind of plays around with time so when we see okay so first we see lucy she's escaped whatever at this point in time we don't know she's escaped something she's bloody and you know just running through the streets and uh then we have this like kind of mockumentary thing where they're telling the story of her and how she went to this i guess mental place mental orphanage yeah, orphanage yeah, mental m- mental orphanage yeah. um but it's supposed to be 1971 and then everything after that takes place 15 years later it'd be 1986 but it does not feel like 1986 yeah the only exceptions are not the phones. feel like it either yeah, yeah. they show oh. they they show the phones a lot and they're like analog or you know rotary whatever but i think that's like the little thing where they're just kind of playing around with time like this is supposed to not really put you into a certain decade or a certain time period see for me the like they shouldn't even have addressed what year it was it's completely irrelevant i think like, the only don't put it don't put a date on yeah, this thing. just say 15 it, years later i think the only reason they did point. was was just because like the documentary stuff was like super eight and so it kind of made it To where, you know, it's like you would put in your head, okay, this is like late 60s, early 70s. The doctor's old school, man. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Um, All right. So I guess, yeah, let's just jump into the movie then. Um, So the opening here, as you said, Lucy's getting uh, breaks away. Great performance by this little girl. I mean, they shaved this girl's head and she's got like all these, you know, it's fucked up cut like really bad and she's covered in shit and she's running down the street and she really does look like someone who was horribly abused. Um, so all the performances in this movie are, are fantastic. I mean, I think that everyone really, um, you know, sells that they've been abused to fuck and back. Um, probably most so here is Lucy, the, the older Lucy in this movie. Holy shit, does this girl play a nutcase well. And if you see these girls, like Anna and Lucy, um, especially Lucy, like they're like supermodels, you know? But they fucking break themselves down to such low levels here that you, you just almost wouldn't notice. I mean, they're clearly attractive, but man, they go in such dark places and, they, and they're so dirty and gross and whatnot. And <laughs> just, you forget. And then you look up their pictures and you're like, oh shit, this girl's like, these girls are fucking gorgeous. But man, they went dark places. <laughs> I got the best Rebecca frozen on my screen right now. Let me take Oh, I was wondering why she was frozen. I wasn't really looking at her. Um, But... <laughs> hey Bex, are you still there at least? Oh, she's gone. Oh, it didn't oh, give no. me her either. It just gave us. Oh, there she is. Oh, she can't she we can't hear her? No, can you hear me now? Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, I it dropped just gave out us, for us. A How lame. Oh well. Whatever. Um so yeah, I I'm I'm sure you heard enough of what I said. Um, <laughs> Brad Thornton so took a snapshot I, for some odd reason. Yeah, he tried to get a capture of that of that <laughs> frame that was frozen. I don't know if we had the same frozen screen or not, but I saw one as well. Yeah. All right. Um, now, usually what we do, I don't know if you want to save the... No, let's just get it out of the way. So, initial thoughts, Brad, since this is your first yeah. view? Well, I'll give a little backstory on my history with this movie. Uh, after I joined uh, Killer Flicks, fuck it, I'll just say their name. After I joined that group, <laughs> um, a lot of people were uh, talking about this movie and other movies, and I decided I really wanted to like check off some of these horrific fucking flicks like this and Antichrist and uh, the what's the one with the turtle that everybody cries about oh, fucking dumbass Holocaust. yeah fuck that turtle i always tell people if you don't watch that movie then that turtle died for nothing <laughs> anyway um 
and but like that was back before the show and back before i don't know i guess i was wasn't doing as good in life because the idea of renting it or maybe i had to purchase it back then too for fucking 13 bucks anyway i abandoned it and it's never available in region free it's always a fucking you know european disc and shit so I, I don't know. It was, I was glad that it came up and I actually ended up purchasing the movie. So I own a fucking digital movie now. But like I said, I went in just expecting, I don't know, I'm supposed to get depressed. I'm supposed to not be able to handle it. I'm like expecting, expecting to test my limits in some way. And I don't feel that it did, but that doesn't hurt the movie at all. And even one iota, um, I, it was fine. I didn't, I wasn't depressed afterwards. I went out and smoked a bowl and like, was like, what do you want to go eat, bro? So would I, I without getting too specific like i just i love the fuck out of it like it was good like everything was like what the fuck i'm like i'm like this is this is now a some kind of creature feature is it no right. it's not like it's she's probably crazy and then like boom this character's not in it anymore now you just got this and like who the fuck are these people and then like the end it you're just like what the fuck i just went on a ride yeah there are a lot of right. what the fuck moments in this movie all the way around definitely but it all no. it all coalesces to yeah, make Yeah, and that's the sense. thing too. It's like beautiful. you keep expecting the first time I watched it, I kept expecting like so, you know, Lucy finds who she thinks and that's what you're supposed to think, who she thinks were her captors and then goes out to exact vengeance and Anna is like, "Okay, I'll help you out" cuz she's been friends with her for that long. But it's like you're kind of like uh, did you pick the wrong people? And that's exactly what Anna thinks yep. too. But it's like, holy fucking shit, she was right. <laughs> right. And the movie. So starts did you guys off... watch? Did you watch this in French or did you watch this dubbed? No, I watched French. it in French. I don't. I don't, I don't like dub stuff. Yeah, I've watched it both ways. Um, definitely better French. Yeah, when it comes to foreign movies, I like to actually like watch it in the original language because I feel like something's lost when it gets dubbed, like just in the actors' like intonation they and stuff. Never, they never hire like top tier people to do a movie from another country. It just doesn't happen. You know what I mean? You're never gonna fucking be like, oh, Steve Carell is gonna fucking do the voice and and train to Busan. Like it doesn't happen. You just get jobbers doing the voices and they don't give a fuck. Right. Yeah. Well. But regardless, I just I think that like you have to like you have to hear like their voices. You have to hear the inflection, and you have to hear. Well, I think like, dubbing makes everyone look like a bad actor. Yes. <laughs> I think dubbing it takes makes half of their look acting like in a Godzilla away. movie. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent it does. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Dubbing is is rough on performances for sure. Um. So. Yeah, so did um, – I had a question here, and I'm trying to remember what the hell it was. Oh, now, did you guys get – I'm sure you got the vibe, but, but I guess more of what side of the fence are you on. Was Lucy and Anna's relationship homosexual in nature? Were they lovers? Were they wannabe I, lovers? I think it it's seemed quite, like Anna was into Lucy. Anna was into yeah, Lucy. Yeah, I think it's quite clear that – Anna wanted the kiss to be real, and the other one was like, what the fuck are you doing? Lucy was just on this, like, track. She couldn't think of anything right. else except for revenge, and so I don't think she was anywhere near. Any yeah, I don't think Lucy romantic. had any interest in her. In yeah, just way. in a romantic relationship Anna at all. was only in it because she was in love with her. And I kind of think that they used that to showcase the fact that maybe Lucy kind of used Anna, like, Anna was yeah. so close to her, but, like, Lucy was just kind of using her as just... The, the person who helped her out, her pawn. If you're yeah. going to go with somebody to kill somebody that did something to somebody before you even knew they were a person, like, you're going to have to have a serious investment in that person. And only, oh, yeah. one of the few ways to portray that is with unrequited love or something. Yeah. Not sure why Lucy even needed Anna, to be completely honest, outside of, like, someone to talk to. I think she, she didn't needed... really expect her to do much. Well, I mean, but when she was younger, she needed somebody to... And she was her voice, remember? Lucy wouldn't talk yeah. to anybody, and so the only way that any of the adults knew, any of the doctors knew what was going on with Lucy was talking to Anna. Right. She was almost like her translator or something. Her liaison. Right. Um, so at what point 
Brad, then did you suspect that this wasn't an actual like creature feature and that this might be in her head? Um, before the suspicion was sown before she slammed the door and started yelling at, you know, the, the woman yeah. through the door. And, uh, and then at that point, I'm like, well, oh, she's not really reacting. To, and she's not been around anytime she's seen her. Like, that was already, like, sewn. But then then once the door closed and shit, I started to think, like, yeah, it, it's, in her, it's in her head. And then, and then surely, moment to moment after that, it just solidified. I think definitely one of the saddest reveals of this entire movie, if not the saddest personally, is when we kind of see why Lucy is tormented oh, the yeah. way that she is. Yes. And how she, and she left this woman behind, and now she just can't let go of the guilt of essentially leaving that girl to her demise. And so she attacks herself, getting vengeance. And see, you know. that's the thing. Like, they say later, they were like, all of them start seeing something. Like, the one girl sees cockroaches on herself or whatever, and she's like, what did your Lucy see? And she was like, a dead girl. But I'm like... I think that most people would. I I think that's the guilt. It's not even the torture part of it. I think she had like real guilt. I mean, that she left this woman behind. But here's something to possibly consider. And this is something when I was going through my notes, like writing down everything in the movie and thinking about it. I was wondering if, and this is just a totally random fucking thought about the um, possibility of the film. Is it possible that what they see is real? That once they become martyrs and they possibly go and see the other side, that they bring something back with them, something from hell, something only they can see. But See, I don't think Lucy ever achieved martyrdom. They've only succeeded four Maybe. times. Maybe. Maybe they don't know what actual success is. Or maybe when you go and you go in for a little bit, then you come out tainted maybe i don't know i just everyone comes out so fucked up i knew now of course they would but the fact that she sees something hers um, is more concrete hers is more like based in reality and if you notice yeah. that um this is one of the symbolic things that i really wanted to know about like you notice all the girls are kind of dark skinned and dark hair every yeah. single one of the ones they take and they the only thing they mention is that young women are more susceptible to become you know to do the transfiguration or whatever but they never say anything but they're I'm all, okay with that they're all like they all kind of have the same look but you notice like when Anna goes in they cut all of her hair they shave her head or whatever she has very long yeah. hair they shave her head but like all of the ones who have been there a long time it's like they shave their heads and then they just let their hair grow. And that's like almost, it shows how long they've been there. And yeah. Lucy, when she gets out, still has short hair. Like, it, I think that signifies she's not been there long enough to be really, she's more. She's a child. She's more of your typical, like, abducted person. She's not one of these people who's been, like, just pushed onto this weird-ass <laughs> fucking process. Like, so far. You torture a kid for a night, they're pretty much going to lose but I'm just, But I'm saying so. she's she's nowhere near, like, you know, the people who were, like, had their lips sewn shut and everything. I'm not saying anything's better or worse. I get I'm, it. You know, I mean, she I mean, escaped because like that, that cunt ten. broke her ankle. Like, she, they didn't finish with her. She got out early. Yeah, she got out, like, really early to the point where it was almost like... She had Let like it go, the bitch. she no, but she Whatever. had like no, she had that <laughs> she had the normal, you, you know, the norm quote unquote normal reaction to being abducted for. A certain I'm not. Time. I I don't. I personally don't think that is what happened, or I don't think it is. But I was just throwing it out there because I thought of it in the moment, and then like, hmm, that's no, an that's always thing. that's always the fun shit. Theories are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah, I know. I, I think this is just literal, like they're making a literal demon that, that lives in her past and she's having to deal with it in the way that she does. But, eh, you know, because it deals with potential heaven and hell consequences, and this is a demon of sorts, it does look like the other one, but it, it's possible they're tormenting her from the other side. Um, okay. 
So the footage of Lucy befriending Anna, even though, of course, there is some shit attached to it that's not so um, happy. It's probably the only part of this movie outside of maybe the breakfast that's even semi. Yeah, like like happy. Yeah, normal happy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. nothing else. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of this movie is pure yeah, downer. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, it's not the movie you want to watch all the time. It's no. it's not something you throw on on the no. background. It's to got feel good. A, a lot of triggers that I'm like, oh, like if I was a normal person, this might upset me. But because I'm oh who I God. am, like the movie's getting extra points for it. Like <laughs> child getting shot with a shotgun fucking uh, mad yeah. torture fucking brutal like just razor on a back like the shit is no joke and like when she's getting beat the fuck up she's getting oh beat up God. by a man that's hitting her like he, he's hitting another big ass man like which he punches her on the way down after she's already blacked out only th- yeah that was amazing <laughs> that was the only way that brutal. this movie could be more of a fucking trigger is if they would like knocked her up and then like aborted her baby and beat yeah. her to death with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, so I was thinking during that, that guy had to have been some kind of like really, really like trained specialist. Because the way he was beating her up, like you could easily kill somebody. I mean, the size of him and the size of her and just, so he had to know exactly where to hit her to like knock her out, but not like actually do any kind of real like brain damage. There were a few times well, where also... it's like any, any other movie, she would have been dead. Like that. Like that. Well, I mean, they're looking for their martyr. They've killed how many people now? I mean, they probably did beat the shit out of someone and kill her. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe he's just abusing her, and if she can take it, she can take it, and she's their one. Um, I am more interested in the fact that they're we're jumping ahead a whole fuckload here, but yeah, um, it's interesting to me to you know point out the fact that he looks so bored doing it. That this is oh. like a job to them. That there's nothing mm-hmm. cathartic about this. There's nothing he's getting from this. This isn't something he enjoys. This is not something like he looks like he's fucking pr- like he looks like somebody who works at the DMV. <laughs> he looks like somebody Apathetic who's absolutely sport. fucking bored out of his yeah, mind. Like, oh, and this is just his again. job. I had to beat her up. And then when they feed her the soup. And it's just grabbing her head and yeah. just like they're treating her like she's a fucking animal that has no feelings. Or, but we haven't you know. mentioned that the first family who was living in the house mm-hmm. or whatever, that's who Lucy murdered. The people who ended up coming in were just like stand-ins. Do they have just like yeah. this like yeah, they're all temps. <laughs> of like, like beefy ball guys and like bitchy blonde women? Who like just yeah, come into this allude house? Allude to like that. There's many different, you know, whatever you would call it, like throughout. Yeah, like there are a bunch of these different idea. like little stations everywhere on the facilities. World. Yeah. So here's a question: Did the kids know? Yeah. Okay. Here's my. I don't know. Here's my only I really thing. Don't. She found the cellar, whatever, the lair, very easily right. in the fucking, like, TV stand in the living room. Right. How could kids not have stumbled upon that? I mean, there was no lock, no nothing. It was just like, open up this TV stand and, hey! <laughs> oh, hey! Right. It's, yeah. I feel like the kids had to have known something. But I, I think they knew if you, something. If you've got it in you to fucking skin somebody... You've got it in you to beat your kids and be like, don't touch this ever. True. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. No, I agree. I think that they're aware there's something in there, but they're, but they're not like, yeah, aware like, of what. Yeah. Like, if you want everything to stay copacetic like it is, you want to be on the swim team, and blah, 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 and you want to go to whatever college you want. and You, you want daddy to stop raping you in the night. Then you better, yeah, then you better shut there. the fuck up and not open that goddamn <laughs> TV stand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be up later regardless. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> this movie, when it gets going, yeah. it's it really like it starts with a bang. Literally. Quite literally. <laughs> yeah. When that guy opens that door and he gets fucking blasted across the room, it is so brutal. It is so unexpected. It is so 
fucking just vicious. See, my it ass cheeks amazing. leave the seat for that kind of shit. Like, I yes. get so hyped. And it's just, she's so, like, Matter of heartless. <laughs> like she says it, and I get it where she's coming from. But she runs through that house like the fucking Terminator, man. She is just there to lay away. She is so certain. Yeah, that and that's the, the thing. People. She is so 100% certain, even Anna says, so you did this because you saw a picture in the newspaper. But she was 100 right. fucking percent right. And she was right, but was okay. Right. So let's take that into consideration. How old are the parents here? I, you know, that's I kind of wondered that too, because it's like okay, you take fifteen years 40s? away, they're maybe like mid forties. So okay, but okay, they so did they'd not be show thirty. That makes sense. Yeah, they didn't show their faces when she was uh, like when in the flashbacks. They showed like the back of the chick's hair and stuff, but they didn't show their faces. So, so the chick who broke her ankle is the mom. Possibly. Yeah, that's no. Or I think yeah. Possibly well, someone else, and those were other people who tortured her as well. Right. Regardless, it was uh, the blonde chick. Yeah, because this could have been this could have been like yeah. the tenth family that stood in for this family. But regardless, hey, they were doing the same shit. Right. Yeah. So she was abducted and then taken in, and now. They definitely up their game in 15 years because oh. the first location is in like some fucking abandoned, typical what you would see in any horror movie. And then yeah. 15 years later, they have like purchased a nice home and built this like, you know, you just get sick of going to fucking warehouses every night. You know, they definitely had to have a contractor on the payroll Yeah, because <laughs> building one of those. That's always my question with Batman is always like. Who built the bat cave yeah, and how the hell did he keep them all secret? Yeah, really <laughs> you guys need to not tell anyone what you built down here or Bruce Wayne built the whole thing by himself. Uh, fucking Alfred Merck's motherfuckers, dude. Like <laughs> Alfred is crazy. <laughs> they just threw him down the fucking bat cave when they were done. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so yeah, she comes in, she blasts the shit out of all these. One of them ends up surviving. And Anna tries to keep it from her. Because Anna, um, Anna is not a believer. She's not she a believer either. She is and either. she's not. Well, she calls her mom. And she is trying to get oh a place for them to run off to. And realizes and her, her mom, mom is, is uh, quite the uh, lovable character. Well, because don't forget, Anna's in the same place that Lucy's in as a kid. <laughs> So right. she exactly. didn't exactly have like, like a charmed childhood. Well, I dated a girl uh, years back and one of the most tragic fucking tales I ever heard was her telling me about her life. And her mom was like super religious and she gave her away to her sister when she was like a certain age because she just didn't want to deal with her. And then her sister caught her like masturbating or something when she was young. So she kicked her out of the house and threw her in an orphanage. And then her mom picked her up from the orphanage years later. And then after like a year or less, like gave her back to her sister. And then they threw her back in an orphanage. And then some guy adopted her when she was like 17 and confessed his love to her. Mm. Yeah. And while she was in the orphanage, like all the nuns there were making her perform oral sex on them. So she was just fucked in the head. I bet she Kinda was crazy in bed, huh? She was. She ended up being a prostitute behind my back. I'm sure you guys know that story. Ah, that's a great story. That was like Brad and Jason bonding 101. <laughs> yeah, that was her. As you, I, I'm sure you can guess by her story. Poor girl. Yeah, I, I that's really what I was do feel say, bad like, for her. Man. Yeah, but it just kind of reminds me of something like this. It's like, yeah, she calls her mom, and it's like, where the fuck were you? This You were in a fucking... But she was in a mental facility, so she clearly thinks that her daughter is crazy, and she has she wants her to have nothing to do with Lucy. Now this, I'm on the side of her mother with. <laughs> well, you definitely don't want hanging around with that chick. Uh, yeah, but what? the mom was saying something about, like, she was, like, blaming her... Like, she was blaming Anna for what she did to yeah. Anna. Like, y you you made me do all that shit, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's clear that, like, the mom abused her and that the mom was right. still laying blame on her. And, like, Anna was still, even as an adult, trying to, 
reconcile with her mother. Which but she says something bad. along the lines of like, you're still around her, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're still with her, aren't you? Like she wants her to have nothing to do with Lucy. And as I said, that's I'm with her on that. <laughs> I think that I don't really get because we don't I don't feel like we ever get a good sense of what's wrong with Anna. No, we don't. Like Lucy's clearly crazy. Like Anna, There's no she's doubt been about abused that. But and Anna she's been seems, in a shit house. Yeah. She just seems like someone who's been hurt and abandoned right. by her fucking parents yeah. and and fell in love with a crazy bro. Like Anna never exhibits anything that what I would consider to be crazy. You know, crazy or anything of the sort. So she seems yeah. to be the real victim in oh, yeah this story once the 15 years later takes place. Of course, Lucy is originally the victim and anyone who was captured by this horrible cult, which I don't think the cult ever actually has a name. I know mm. that Mademoiselle is the only hey, character. Yeah. Hey, these people are solving like fucking the greatest mysteries of the universe at the expense of some fucking street trash. Like, what's the problem? <laughs> Well, here's the problem. We'll get into what the problem with that is, obviously, outside of the, the, the blatant uh, obviousness of that. But there was <laughs> really... Trash, we'll we'll okay. get into why that makes no sense of what their cult's even about. Um, But, okay. So, then... Oh, man. I, probably the like most graphic scene in this movie to me. I don't know. That's tough. But there when <laughs> when when Lucy's cutting herself up, it's fucking brutal, man. It is just hard to watch because it's just like this girl who's taking her and she's cutting herself and she's holding and she's cutting her wrists open. And it's so like, Ooh. <laughs> like this but is even so then it plays it plays with your head because you're like, you couldn't do that to yourself. Like she has so much like resolve. She's so strong to go and like kill these people. You have to be like, well, maybe this shit isn't in her head. You know, I mean, that th- those are the places where you start to kind of get like, eh. when she's banging her head yeah. against the fucking wall. Oh, Jesus so Christ. Brutal. It's like, who could do that? And especially somebody who just the went in and blew bush. away four fucking people to try to like one kill of which the demon. is still alive. Yes. Dude. Which, oh. if it were one of the That's kids, so- I think it would have been okay. But I think, yeah, the fact it was. On the mom. bitchy plumber lady. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and then, yeah, and then out of nowhere, I think this was so shocking uh, in, like, almost, like, as shocking as the shotgun scene, but even maybe more so, because this is where it takes the dramatic turn, is when um, she does go down in there, and she finds this woman, and then when she comes downstairs and she gets shot through the head, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, <laughs> like the SWAT team comes in. It's like, oh. <laughs> and at that point in time. Actually, I take that back. The grossest fucking scene in this movie is when she rips the fucking face mask off. Oh, <laughs> my God. And that is disgusting. Girl. And then she can't get like the fucking chassis belt off of her. She's just like, you know, pulling <sighs> her up the stairs. And the girl, she obviously has not been able to see or anything forever. And for like, years, yeah. Oh my god! When she's like Poor taking the girl. staples out of she, her fucking yeah. head. Ugh. I think Becca's lost again. So yeah, she's I been think swirled we're gonna, away. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk through this. But so, <laughs> hey, yeah, she gets the fucking like these thick staples, like fucking Ooh, screwdriver out of her head, and then she rips like. She could, she did that shit like a band aid, man. She's all, Ooh. and it's just gross. Like it's all stuck to it, and it's like slimer under there. Just, Can you even imagine? Have you ever like had like you know like your finger wet for too long, and like the skin like comes off and shit? Like, can you even imagine what happened to that bitch's face under there? No, absolutely not. I mean, I can imagine because I saw it in the movie, but in reality, I don't know well, what it would the, actually look like. But the thing had to, I mean, they they obviously shaved her head and everything, and the thing obviously, like, melded onto her fucking scalp and shit. Have you ever gotten a, I mean, obviously you have. But, I've gotten, okay. like, Should you know, I say stuck in my head like that. No. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Like, you know when you get, sorry, that's a, probably the better way to say it. You know when we you, when you get a burn on your hand or something from, like, cooking? 
and then you go in the fucking shower and you hold it out of the shower because if anything touches it, it's going to fucking burn you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Let's put this chick in a warm bath. Yes. <laughs> covered head to toe in cuts and fucking burns yes. and all sorts of shit. That would be the most painful experience ever. Why does she put her in a bath? I was thinking and that I love too. When she, I'm like, get her a cold sponge and wipe the blood I off. I love Come when on. she goes to like treat her wounds and she just doesn't even know where to start. She like looks at her body and is like, I, I don't even know what to do. It's like bathe her in fucking betadine. Bathe her in hydrogen <laughs> who peroxide. Cares? She's been so like cut for so long. And she like starts to put like alcohol on her and put like yeah. gauze. Like, uh, Becca's no. Becca's cutting out more and more. This is terrible. She's in and out. Yeah, what? Is <laughs> Becca even <laughs> real? Is yeah, Becca even real or is she a figment of our imagination? Right. We've been talking to, to her, just us this whole time. <laughs> we just pause. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, who the fuck is this Becca character? They continue. Everybody to keep thinks to we have her. the best gimmick ever, but we're just fucking. Yeah, we're just lunatics. We're Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Start cutting ourselves because Becca told us to. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm using my fucking phone as hotspot now, bitches. <laughs> this, yeah, that's ridiculous. I don't, yeah, um, the hamster. Now I get fine. that. I get that Anna doesn't call the cops because she doesn't want to be caught for the murders. But right. I think that's that the point because at that point Lucy's dead. She slit her own fucking throat, and she goes and she finds this girl, and she brings her upstairs. She's and it's like this is the point when you just pick up the phone, you call the police and say, I saw some shit at this house, hang up and leave. But I think she was kind of like on the verge of doing that when she like left her there. She's like, okay, I need to take care of this girl. I think that was like her next step before like the psycho SWAT she team done came that in. Bef- no, there was nothing she could do. What the fuck is she going to do? Oh, let me just draw her a bath. That's That'll probably just loads. their way of showing us that she's like inherently a less selfish person than her friend because she rescued a person and her friend didn't. But why no, didn't she I, I just grab her and be like, okay, her, but... shit's fucked up here. So, you know what? It, she never said anything to the girl. Like, when you say... Like, she gets her killed. She just... Because she didn't call the police. But she doesn't even say, calm I down, I'm here fucking... to help you, anything. She's just like, stay here. Okay. You know what? If you're go- if you're going to fucking be a murder accomplice to somebody that ain't even giving up the pussy, like, you deserve whatever you get. <laughs> Maybe she let her lick her down nightly. We don't know. That's true. Yes, we do, because she looks so scandalized when she went to kiss her. She's like, what are you doing? Well, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's one of those chicks that just doesn't like kissing. Like, no kissing. Yeah. You just lick my pussy, but you can't. Yeah, she's like, if the lights lights are out and I can't see you, then it never happened. (laughs) I've seen the movie Horror. Oh, my God. No kissing. But yeah, I mean, she sh- obviously sh- should have called the fucking police instantly when she found that girl down there and then just left the house. They they needed, she needed real medical attention. And there's probably a better way to take that mask off and that chastity belt <laughs> <laughs> than a <laughs> screwdriver and just ripping it off. Well, at least a face. little bit of like um, some drugs would probably have been nice. Although that might have Shit, like that put took her a in a Vicodin, heart attack. That girl would die. She is so fucking on she the She was so, yeah. Anything. She reminds me of, like, the dude they find in Seven that's been tortured yeah. for a year straight, and his brain is just mush. Like, like there's just nothing left of that human being. Best anymore. thing you can do Personally, is give that person a knife. Personally, she was a favor. Yeah, a favor was to give her, to kill her. Mm-hmm. There's no recovering from something oh, like that. Yeah. There's absolutely no recovering from something like that. It reminds me of the movie The Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie Tapes. Uh, I don't want to get spoiled. Oh, spoilers well, for that and, movie, but. that's on my list. Oh, but that's but that, but, but that movie's But real. people can't live without that once they've had it for so long. Let's just say that. Um, Wasn't that the movie that was real, Jason? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Fuck you to whoever did, yeah, whoever argued with me, me on that out there. Stupid assholes. That stupid rumor made that movie super hard to find for a long time. I mean, yeah, they banned the movie forever. Forever. Roof, roof. So, yeah, so this um, is where the movie really takes a turn. So the SWAT team people come turn, in, yeah. and they take Anna down to the lair, and they sit her in a metal mm. chair, and they're just like, they bring in the weird hag lady. <laughs> and, that's yeah. and, like, 
the first time I saw it, it, I was so confused by this. And then this time I saw it, I was like, what? there's like almost like movie posters in this lit up yeah. hallway. And hmm. I'm like, there's like. We're going fuck- to the movie theater room. Yeah. They're like these fucked up people, but it looks like they're like on these like marquees or whatever. And we end up yeah. finding out who they are. They are. Mar- yeah, the they marks. are martyrs or potentially have been martyrs over the years. But it's like, okay, um, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't normal. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anything normal about this movie. So, yeah, so Mademoiselle comes down to talk to Anna and to tell her about the other martyrs of the past, gives her a little brief history tour, yeah. and then tells her that they're getting her ready for the transcendence. Transconfiguration. And Transfiguration. No, it's transcendence. Mm, I think it's transfiguration. I think Rebecca's right. I'll, I'll bet you. I'll bet you money. What? How much you want to bet? Um, it's transcendence. Fifty bucks. Transfiguration. Okay. It's transcendence. Oh, I'm fucking excited. Mm. <laughs> I know I'm. They're right. digging through. They're digging through their references. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. I didn't. I have no references. I haven't seen this movie in years. I'm just, just trying to give the people at okay. home something to listen to. Brad, while he goes on his thing, Google. Oh, <laughs> so all right. Yes, man. So then the movie really just mostly consists of her being viciously abused for about twenty fucking straight minutes. Um, or more. There's not really a lot to talk about there. Brad and I kind of touched upon her getting punched so fucking viciously and being punched to the floor and, you know, being fed like a fucking abused animal. And then. Um, um, okay, so eventually. maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a weak person, but. So. No. Well, I probably am. But, okay, so they have her chained up, like, to the wall. And so there's like. Yeah. There's like a latch or something on the wall, maybe eight ten feet on the wall so it's above her head and she's got these huge long chains why wouldn't you just wrap one of those chains around you and just like just stand on the chair and fall over i mean like why would you not try to kill yourself is that like a sign that she is stronger that she's more uh i don't know like not willing but more like Something I talk about on my channel all the time is killing yourself is not something you're very quick to do or apt to do. You know, you want to survive. How many people are found that have fucking been held hostage for 15, 20 years? But hadn't out. You don't think they could have... You could bite your fucking wrist out at any moment if you really wanted to. I mean, if you really wanted to kill yourself, you could. So, I mean you can find a way to kill yourself. There's people, people want to live. It's, it's, it's the basic human fucking, you know, but biting um, your wrist out is desires. something that takes a long time. And it's like something like, you know, so it's, strangling yourself. It's, it's none of it sounds good. No. You always think that maybe if I get through tonight, someone will rescue to me tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe if, you know, I found this girl, so why can't someone and, and, and Lucy broke out. So why can't I? and, your mind, so you again, know, you, you try to stay. Again, I prefaced it by saying, maybe I'm a weak person. <laughs> and maybe that's but what I But I, I don't believe you would try to kill yourself instantly. Nor do I think, because we don't not really know how much time has passed. Not instantly, but like after a while when you realize, fuck, these other people didn't get out. I'm not getting out. I'm not going to let them. There is a point where I would feel like I'm not going to let them have the satisfaction. But and just, there's definitely people who would do that. Just yeah. Anne is not one of those yeah. people. And I, I think that, as I said, if you if you look into past fucking just the, the reality, I mean, this is a movie, so we can't really speak right. here, but I can speak to what actually happens. And, and we see stories all the time of people who have been found oh, yeah. living in captivity, prisoners of war and stuff like that. Or fucking the Holocaust victims. I mean, look how horrible they were. Treated. How many of them committed suicide? You know, like. People, people want to live. I mean, that's that's basic human stuff there. So they want to fuck too. Hey, Becca, what was your word again? Trans- Transfiguration. What is he doing? He's googling. On what? Um. All right. So <laughs> then, 
Um, so then, yeah, I mean, they skin her. They put her in front of these, like, UV Which, lamps. Jesus Christ. And you can tell, like, the, they all feel bad about it. Like, they're just like, yeah. wow, she's not dead yet. Oh, my God. And what one of them even says right. to her, like. Please die already. Well, the one is like, <laughs> your, your suffering is almost over, you know. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. They're just like, man, can you just, like, fucking just transcend now so we don't have to, like, do this shit to you? And what's the right. point of, like, putting her in, like, the, like, like the NASA, um, like, space thing and then, like, turning just, her over? I, I think it's to keep her in place and to be able to get one seamless cut because it exposes her whole body at yeah, once I guess off that's the true. ground you just... and holds her stationary yeah. so she can't move around. Ugh. It's just a skinning rack. I mean, it's specifically built for that purpose, which is fucking evil, man. Um, but they so don't then, think yeah, it's I evil. Mean, she, they think they're she, doing uh, something for Mankind. She achieves what they consider martyr- martyrdom and for 15 she, minutes, I want to say, isn't it? 15 she, minutes? Well, she achieves it, but yes, she can talk for 15 minutes. Right, she comes She comes out of it. She's the only one who can actually relay anything. Pass she relays on. it to the old hag, and like, why would you not have a little tape recorder right there? <laughs> Mademoiselle. Hey, old hag. The old hag, I love it. Old hag. Um, so then... So, I mean, of course, the question then comes down, and this is going to be the question that everyone's going to ponder anytime they watch the movie. This is this is the question of the movie. What did she tell Mademoiselle? That's, I mean, that's the pressing question that you get yep. here. Now, there's so many ways that could be interpreted. Did she? Because, okay, I'll, I'll throw some out, and let me see which one you guys went with. So... I think option one is she told her. Now, okay, I guess I should preface this by saying there is a little hint because we she never tells anybody, and the only thing she says to them is keep doubting. doubting. Now, that is a very interesting line because keep doubting, keep doubting he, he taken what? so many different ways. Doubting what? Yeah, doubting the, doubting the afterlife? Yeah, doubting Doubting like that what? you want what to even mean? know. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, that's the point. I mean, but. I'm not, as, I'm not as mystified as you guys. Like, what I think it is, I, I think it is so strongly that I don't even have questions, you know? You think that about what you what you believe to be true is 100% and there's no other way about it? Is that what you're saying? Not that fucking insane, like a fucking okay. military maniac. But right. I'm saying, like, when I watched the movie, I didn't have any lingering questions as to what she told her because like it just made enough sense in my head to take it at the value that I did. So what it what's yours then? Then I'm very I one hundred percent believe she just confirmed that there is an afterlife and then that bitch was just like, I'm out. Fuck this I'm going. That's enough for me. I'm out of here. Okay. But there's something on the other side. Okay, so that lady oh, the mademoiselle the other sides for okay, sure. Mademoiselle <laughs> has spent like the old you hive. know, virtually her whole life, you know torturing people and trying to figure this out what if what right. she told her was yeah there's really nothing right you know like what you your whole life's work yeah yeah you just die you know i think keep doubting was kind of a stingy shitty things to say because she was ready to go having 100 percent believed in it and the other person was still questioning, so it's like, keep doubting. I'm out of here. Like, but maybe that's it. Like, okay, keep going on because maybe you will find yeah. something else. But my research is but done I, because I, I found out there's not. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Or I mean, but is somebody who's willing to push that far is she really going to take the word of someone who's like, nope, it's nothing? Like they're looking for something. So until they find something. Nothing is nothing. You know what right. I mean? So there's only one. There's only one answer that's going to surprise them, and that's that there is something, right? Because here's think, a I, possibility: since the movie is called Martyrs, and to take you know pain upon yourself and and die for your cause is martyrdom. So I wonder if what she potentially told her was 
there is an afterlife. And you all fucked up. You're going to hell for what you've done. That's, and this mademoiselle yeah. is in is kind of responsible for bringing all these cold people in. She seems to be the leader of these people, probably yeah. the James or the uh, Jim Jones of the place. And it's possible that suicide being a mortal sin and suicide being, you know, an act of martyrism in some in certain cultures and whatnot, that what she did was she became a martyr to absolve them of their sins. By taking her own life in that moment. But why wouldn't she say, hey, let it go. <laughs> you know? But she said, keep doubting. And that's the line. But keep doubting. Yeah. But it's very interesting. Right. It's to like me. keep doubting the normal convention or keep doubting what we are going for. That's I mean, I think that's the main thing. It, yeah. Yeah, you, you could just take it so many ways. Because, I mean, here's the thing. It, when it comes to the cult itself, it would be very hard to sell. It's obviously, it's a bunch of old people who are terrified of death and they just want to know if an afterlife exists. But the point and the failure in their logic there is that if there is, you're not really garnishing anything else from that information. You're not really, you're not really receiving much more than that. Right, so you're torturing these out. people. Yeah. To find out, yeah, you're going to find out regardless, <laughs> whether there is or isn't. Finding out there is possibly just because you tortured someone. If you torture someone long enough, they're going to start to hallucinate. So yeah. to bring back this message from the other side is is yeah, pretty, pretty fucking shaky yeah. ground to go off of anyway. But the fact that they even want this information, they don't even know to what extent. And the pa- fact that is, is if you take most religions, most religious religions would punish these actions. Oh, yeah. So if they find out there is an afterlife, then they're probably going to the bad place for what they've yeah. done. So it seems very silly to me that they would even, you know, act in this. But, of course, their cult mentality, they 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 have a different belief system. But they're try. It's almost like they don't have a belief and they're doing this to find one. Right. And they're they're very human. They want to know. Like they're yeah. very egotistical. They want to know. And it's like they want to know before they go that route, even though it is inevitable that they will be going that route. They're not even trying to find like the way to stay alive forever. They just they want to know before they go. Right. It's weird. No, I don't think. Yeah, they're not they're not trying to get immortality or anything. I'm going to tell they're you guys just... right now. I personally, if there's a bad place, I want to go to the bad place cuz like all the people that I like, I think are going to the bad place too. <laughs> I'll go to the good place. You have fun in the bad place. Fuck you. <laughs> You're going to come down to the bad place with me. I've been a pretty good guy, so I don't. I, I disagree. I, don't, I think I'm that, just uh, saying, if like going to church, I understand Sunday what you're saying. Blah, 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 like yeah. all the fucking sinners are the are the fun people I, that I know for sure. But Billy Joel anyway, said, "We're best. not going to get into I'd rather religion. laugh yeah, with silly. the sinners than cry with the saints. Right. The sinners are much more fun." Right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think. I definitely don't think it's cut and dry. I definitely no. don't think that. You know, There's her nothing. hearing what it is that, oh, it's for sure there's an afterlife and I'm out. Peace out. I'm not saying that that's a wrong interpretation of it for sure. There's any interpretation. And, and if you have one that you're sticking with, totally good. That's, if she had that's said awesome. nothing, I just, then I think the assumption would be that she heard that the afterlife was there and it's great. Just like, but the fact. But she why said not that tell line, them? I, That's where it yeah, gets confusing. Like, it, why not tell yeah, them? It's like, a sub- like what I saw there was an afterlife. See you there. Yeah. Like, hey everybody. Drink why the not? The fact that she doesn't tell them anything. The, okay, let's take this into consideration. She started this cult, or at least has yeah, been. been the okay, she didn't start it. This has probably been going on a long time. Well, I don't know. But she's the leader at this point. Yeah. And she would want to pass down the information. People are paying for this. Obviously, they buy these lavish houses and whatnot. Somebody's got to foot this bill. These are clearly rich people. They pull up in extremely nice cars. These are the old money of the world. Mm -hmm. And they're doing this because they are terrified of death. So they want the answer. And the whole point of the cult, the whole point of torturing these kids, doing these horrible things, and you can see they're getting no excitement out of it. They're not enjoying torturing these people. They feel bad about it, really. Right. Yeah. 
So the whole point of all of this is to get the information. Mm -hmm. She got some seriously fucked up news to pull a gun on herself and tell them nothing. For her to not tell them anything except for, you know, keep doubting is very interesting to me because if she found out, oh, yeah, there is an afterlife, she'd be like, hey, guys, this was all a big success. Something she was told changed her entire perception of reality to the point she had to commit suicide. Yeah, or even like she stood up there and was like, hey, this is what I heard. And I would be really interested in somebody who spoke French to analyze the scene where she is whispering to... Right, because dubbing is... Even with dubbing well, no, and even it, with uh, yeah, subtitles. I, mean, even I think, I think I it's mean, like... I don't think there's any technological way to fucking... Fit. It's like the writer doesn't have something so mind-blowing to say that they could make somebody kill themselves, so that's why you have to whisper it. You yeah, know? and I mean, oh, yeah, and her I lips think, barely I don't think you move. Can... I mean, you know, it's just kind of... Yeah, you know? they're not gonna, I don't think they're going to reveal some crazy ass shit. No. 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 But I would be But it'd be cool to hear other if words. Somebody yeah. analyzed it and somebody who really I mean, would you be... I'm sure it exists online. Somewhere. Funny if she just said something I like know. I have to poop. I was going to say she's like Scooby Doo was a really good cartoon. Do you have any idea how hard, how much it would fucking how painful it would be to shit with no skin on your ass? <laughs> um or just to breathe oh or God. to live or or to, yeah, uh, to exist at all. Yeah. Not uh, alone just, shit, but yeah. 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 Just absolutely brutal. It's, 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 it's the like air the would anti have to feel hurt. good movie. You know what I mean? Like, just I even the it. air on your skin would have to hurt. Oh. <laughs> and not even to mention, Literally, like, yeah, the anything. infection that you're going to get. I mean, <laughs> I don't even think you'd be infected. I think you'd probably bleed out before anything. I don't I mean, know, if, like, but if, if they you take cut the- someone's. If they take well, the skin off, it's just the um, like the surface capillaries. I don't think you would bleed out. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if anyone could survive being skinned. Well, no, completely. and I think, like I said, I think the infection would get you. But they also are very—they're uh, savvy. They probably have a sterile room. And they—they they fucking put like UV lights on her to burn her. Like, without her skin. It's fucking insane. Maybe it's that just, cauterizes the It's room. just so fucking yeah. brutal. There's Everything no way you can survive of that. Oh, that yeah. Shit. Everything is just... And even if you did, would you want to? It just goes back to the girl that she found. If no. You no. Fucking... Do you know what time... Do you know what, what part of the movie I wanted to die? If if that thing was stabbing me in the fucking back. With that, with that, with the fucking thing in her head was, like, on her back and just razor blading, sliding it... Yeah. Her fucking spot. That, I already want you to come in and just shoot me in the head and get me out of that situation. And, and that's one of the that's one of the things where it's like Anna looks at her and she sees those wounds on her back and she kind of for a minute is like, oh, like you couldn't yeah. do those to yourself. I mean, she's 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 thought about like, you know, the thing in her head is like the thing in her head and it's just her. But yeah, she looks at those wounds and she's like, mm, you can fucking do that to yourself. Anyway, this uh-huh. movie's got a lot of feels and a lot of shit. <laughs> Thank you, Jack Shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks, man. Thanks, Jack Shoulder. Me and, me and James enjoyed the shit out of it. So oh, he liked it too? Yep. So we you know what? Let's give let's give this motherfucker some ratings, cause Man, I don't. We're not gonna get any. Ten out of ten. We're not gonna get any farther than anybody else has. Jason says ten out of ten. Brad. Nine. What'd you say? I said nine, which both refutes. <laughs> I know. Score. I thought you were just being <laughs> Naziistic there. Nine. Naziistic. That's not working. You know. Nine, 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 nine. Like I said, first time I watched it, it was like an eight, and I knew it was gonna go up. I just was a little thrown by the twist in the movie and then when i watched it i would have said it was a nine but then like sitting here and i knew this was gonna happen who processing it with you guys i'm giving it a 9.5 i'm not sure what doesn't make it a 10 not sure but maybe uh, uh, yeah not sure but because you don't want to put it over your fireplace and fucking rub on it yeah (laughs) yeah 
Mademoiselle explains that she belongs to a secret philosophical society seeking to discover the secrets of the afterlife through the creation of the martyrs. Jason's This will Googling. result in transcendence insight. Dude, I'm going to... 50 no. bucks PayPal or how are we going to do Sweetheart, this? Sweetheart, I give See, you I didn't, I didn't say anything when I came back because I discovered that Jason was right. Really? <laughs> of no. course I'm right. No, there was like transfiguration going on. I haven't seen this movie in years. Oh. Transfiguration is a movie that's very similar to Martin, the black kid in the ghetto. Martin. Have you seen that movie? Good movie. I will give you 50 bucks. I really will. I don't want your money. Yes, you do. I really don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Just, it was a playful bet. No, it wasn't. I, I knew hey, I was right. That's if I made the that bet with Rebecca, bet. she'd be buying me an autograph in Indy. That's right. Huh? We, we honor our bets. Dude, your chair no. squeaks and I give you 100 bucks because I care about your I fucking lower back. I don't want your money. All I want is for you to help me with uh, my editing stuff. So we'll and talk about Premiere and all yeah. that. So we'll, we'll, we'll call it even on that. No. I knew I was right. That's the only reason I made the bet at all. <laughs> so I could not give you the money. Take the money. No. You you will get the money and you will get the uh you will get my editing uh knowledge just because I need to pass it down to somebody. Fifty bucks, little man. Put that shit in my hand. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, oh. My jungle love. All right, guys. Well, right. that was our Martyrs review. What do you guys think? <laughs> I want to know. Do we you just think... discussed it, but that's really the way it needs to be. That's all we ever do. I mean, I don't review movies on my channel. I just, you know, whatever. Fuck about. your I'll channel. Really, it's your podcast. God damn it. <laughs> Say, I'm just saying. I do the same thing on my podcast as I do on my channel. I just talk about shit that happens in it, how it affected me, and that's that. So I'm not, thank I'm not you, some Jack critic. Schroeder. And I'll, I'll be in for my prostate exam at the end of the month. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I like how Brad keeps it secret if I was right. But if Brad, if Rebecca was right, he would have came back and oh, been yeah, like, Jesus, wrong. Like a fucking <laughs> I like how you only want to prove me wrong, you fucking asshole. No, it's all not right. for the money. I knew it would I knew it would eventually get resolved. It's just I didn't want to hear you fucking all gloat and shit like I don't, I don't. I'm not eager to come here and tell Rebecca she's wrong. I didn't you know gloat about nothing. All I said was <laughs> I knew I was right, and don't pay me the money. That's it. That's not gloating. No. Now you get. <laughs> now it goes full circle, because I bought you lunch, and now I owe you money. <laughs> don't owe me anything. All right, guys. Yeah, well, that yeah. was our show. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Keep doubting, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Adios. <laughs>